So, who likes terrariums? Well, I know I do. This is the only one I've got, is this one here. I started this off about, I should think about four months ago, and um, I put some soil in the bottom there, and a few of these sort of small plants that I've got, and also some sphagnum moss from just outside of the, the back garden there and put a little bit of water in, not too much, and some uh, charcoal, activated charcoal, just to keep it fresh and stop the soil from going sour. And I keep looking at it and looking at it and thinking, do you know what, Rog, it's about time you've done something with that terrarium. I mean, everything inside is just getting so big and so overgrown. So today I'm going to open it up, see what jumps out and gets me. It's a proper jungle in there, it really is. So, uh, yeah, let's get started and see what we've got. So, here it is. My little jungle in a kilner jar. This is a kilner jar. So I'm going to open the lid, peek inside, and this is what we've got. It's really overgrown. This should have been done ages ago. You can just see bits of a fern sticking out there and sphagnum moss I mean it's done well it's done really well it's not been in the sunlight it's not been in the shade either it's just sort of been in, in a fairly bright light now, this is a difficult bit we've got to get it out and try pulling it but I don't want to damage the plants too much so I'll give it a little bit of a wiggle as much as I dare and then try and poke it out with this uh, Chinese chopstick. I really haven't got the proper tools for doing this sort of work. Perhaps I should treat myself one day. It's coming, it's coming. But, gently does it and yay, we've got it out. So I'm gonna put the jar to one side because that, that's gonna need a bit of a clean because I'm going to be reusing that once I've tidied all this up. So pull the plants apart gently, gently does it. I bought these plants ages ago at a garden centre on a sort of a special offer thing and they were tiny, tiny little plants and so cheap too. But they've grown quite well. There's one, little, the little green one. There's some sphagnum moss there that come from just outside of my garden. And this, and the fern there is, well I'll get back to that in a minute, but this is a little red plant. Nice bright red leaves, that's done very, very well, I must say. So we put that aside, and this is an asparagus fern. But I think it's a, it's a miniature type. It's got quite a, a big root structure on it now. So I'm very quickly going to tidy these up and put them to one side in this tray and take some little cuttings. Those little cuttings will be for my next uh, project, which is to redo my terrarium. So there, I've got three little red plant cuttings, little bright leaves. Pull some of the moss away. And I'm going to take some cuttings of the plant with green leaves as well. Take off some of those bottom leaves, we don't need those. And so I've got three cuttings there as well. Trim back the moss, tidy that up a bit, ready to go back in its new home. Well it won't be a new home will it? It'll be the old home. It'll be like being redecorated. So after a quick tidy up, we can redo our terrarium. Now this is just a regular all-purpose compost that I buy in a great big bag and I use for all sorts of things. But I also add this, this is activated charcoal from coconuts, would you believe it? So I'm going to put a bit of that in the bottom with the soil. Not too much. This will stop it going sour and you know getting mouldy and nasty because bear in mind it's going to be quite damp in there and the charcoal keeps it quite fresh 
I'm going to put the asparagus fern in first. It's got quite big roots. And I'm going to try and cover those up to give it a bit of a start. So in we go with some more of our all-purpose compost. Try and get those roots covered. This is the only thing I've got to use, really, this chopstick. Perhaps I might get some terrarium utensils for Christmas. We never know, do we? A bit more soil. It's a very delicate job, this. It's worth it in the end, though. I think these look really good. A bit more charcoal. We're going to squish that around a little bit so it mixes in with the soil. Bit more soil. It's a bit of a slow process. It's not worth speeding up though, we don't want to spoil it, do we? There we go. Get that as even as possible. We want a little high spot though, so the high spot's going to be where the asparagus fern is. Keep putting some more soil in, I don't know where it's all going. Well, I do know where it's going, it's going in that jar. Level that up a bit. It's time to put in some cuttings. What should we use first, I wonder? I know. We'll pop in some of these little red ones. Typical. Going upside down. There we go. Nestled up within quite nicely. And then another one can go in. Take those bottom leaves off. That's where the roots are going to start. Hopefully. They should do. That's a green one next. No, it isn't. Just green on the underneath. Just shows you the difference. They're upside down. They look just the same colour green as the other ones. It's a little bit tricky. Need plenty of patience for this sort of work. But it does look so good when it's finished. Ornamental. Very, very ornamental. Put another one in there. I think it's starting to look quite good already. Much better than that big jungle. It's amazing how fast it grows, really. Obviously likes it in there. There you go. Make sure they're poked into the soil a bit, give them a chance to grow. Mm, that one's been a little bit tricky. Take it out and I'm going to snip back those big leaves because that's causing a problem. There's one, there's another one. There. That should do, hopefully we'll get that one in. Now in with some moss. That's a little bit tricky. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use these from the kitchen. That makes life a bit easier, I must admit.
All it needs now is a little drink, not too much, and that'll be job done. Put the lid down and back on the shelf where it was before.